students let's continue with the security in distributed system so now let's see what are the different types of attacks and what are the security mechanisms in this video the different types of sec attacks are the passive attacks and the active attacks i think you already know about the passive and the active attack the passive attacks are the browsing interferencing and masquerading and whereas active attacks are virus worms logic bombs and integrity attacks and some lots of more uh, attacks that are present now coming to the security mechanisms so what are the different security mechanisms that are present in the distributed environment one is the encryption what do you mean by encryption encryption means transform the data into something an attacker att attacker cannot understand you're going to transform some message from a to b so this message is with encryption key okay so transform the data into something and this message cannot be understand by the attacker cannot understand by the attacker that is encryption so this is one type of security mechanism and next is authentication okay so what do you mean by authentication authentication means it is used to verify the claimed identity of a user authorization checking if the authenticated user has the right to perform the action request and digital signature here the encrypting a file or a message using a key we are using a key one of one key to encrypt the data if that key knows only to the signer then that is a digital signature so these are all the different security mechanisms so let me explain you uh, some of these mechanisms so the first is a cryptography so the cryptography is nothing but the encryption decryption a cryptography is of two types one is symmetric and another is asymmetric okay so the symmetric crypt uh, cryptography example is data encryption standard and asymmetric cryptography is rsa so this is the name of the three authors rsa okay so let me explain you what is a cryptography in this diagram so let's take this is a plain text i'm sending a plain text with welcome to my world welcome to my world i want to send this message to the another person okay so here another person is there i want to send this same welcome to my world has to reach this person so the plain text whatever i send the receiver has to reach same plain text in between this i want to maintain a security how by using cryptography means i am encrypting and decrypting this complete technology you call it as a cryptography how welcome to my world is first encrypted with a key this is ke encrypted key so this encrypted key now consisting of uh, now our my message is encrypted with p is whatever the plain text i am sending welcome to my world this is a message that is stored in p comma ke ke is the along with key encrypted key this you call it as a cipher text okay this completed welcome to my world is attached with the encryption key you call it as a cipher text up to this part this is you call it as a encryption technology now coming to this part after encrypting the other side person has to read that message here kd is there kd is a decryption key so whatever that encrypted that has to be key obviously whenever you lock the door if you want to open the door again you need to use the key only then only you can open the door if you are closing the door means you need key if you want to open the door means you need key so it's same way the kd is a key decryption key and the plain text is known as only to the people who is having that key this part you call it as a decryption so the complete encryption plus decryption you is call it as a cryptography okay so let me explain you with an example so that you can understand so here one system is there uh another system so this is one type of the security mechanism in the distributed system i have taken the two systems uh here the system is sending a hello message and this message hello has to be encrypted how it is going to be encrypted after encrypted i get a cipher text message like this this hello is converted like this how it is converted with this algorithm encrypted with the k okay so k comma m k is the key m is the whatever message the hello message m 
is equal to i make it as a message with a key suppose if this ke the encryption key is equal to the decryption key so at the receiver side you again you have to use this key decryption of decry decryption key along with the encryption message you will get the final plain message so this is at the side of decryption the condition is suppose this encryption key is equal to the decryption key then you call it as a symmetric cryptography suppose if encryption key whatever i am using is not equal to the decryption key means i here decryption side i am using another key then you call it as asymmetric cryptography so this is the main difference between the symmetric and asymmetric if the encrypted key is equal to the is same as the decrypted key then you call it symmetric and if it is not equal you call it as asymmetric cryptography so this is about the security in distributed systems thank you